Okay, so the second example, uh, it's also equated to, to zero. So when it's equated to zero, just find your complementary function. So here we are required to find CF, which is your complementary function. So you're going to find the general solution of complementary function. So since it's equated to zero, there's no need for you to find particular integral. I'll do a, a video of particular integral after this video. So now, remember we convert everything to m. So it's m squared minus 4m plus, oh, it's y here, plus 4 equals to zero. So now, if you find the factors here, find the factors m, m minus, okay, minus 2, minus 2 are your factors. So as you can see, guys, these factors are the same. So your m1 is going to be 2 equals to m2. So m1 and m2 are equal. So since your m1 and m2 are equal, your factors are equal, so you're going to use this equation. Normally, if the factors are not the same, your, your YCF, your complementary functions, a general solution, it's like this. If your factors are not the same, it's like this. It's C1, E, M1, X, plus C2, E, M2, X. So this is only if your factors are not the same. This is only if your, your factors are not the same. So since your factors are the same, guys, your general solution is going to be YCF equals to C1, E, M1, X, plus C2, E, M2, X. Just because the factors are the same, you just add X there. You just multiply by X. Just multiply one equation by X. So, so your general solution, your final answer is going to be YCF. Because of the factors are the same, YCF is equals to C1, E. I'll just substitute those values. It's 2X plus C2, E. 2X multiplied by X. This X you only multiply by this x when your factors are the same.